So I have to say this fitting room section here is pretty impressive. They got seats in there, some chandeliers. It's really neat. Where are we right now? We're actually in Target in Price's Corner on Kirkwood Highway. And the last time I was in this store, it was a Sears. And it was a two-story Sears. They had the escalator that you could take upstairs. Um, they had some appliances and such up there. No, maybe it was the clothing that was up there. I'm trying to remember. They had like the tool section around the front side. Um, and uh, the men's clothing was downstairs here. So this is my first time being in here since it's no longer a Sears. And my goal is to visit the toy section because I want to see what kind of toys they're offering. It's just a couple weeks before Christmas here. And I want to see what they have. Sometimes they bring back some vintage toys or some retro toys. I want to see if they have any Mego action figures on the shelves. So we're going to go back there and we're going to take a look. And then we're going to take a little bit of a look around Price's Corner here. What's here now, what it used to be. So here's some things on the end cap here. Which they have all the time. Rock'em Sock'em Robots, the classic battleship. Pac-Man, the board game. That looks interesting. But what I haven't seen before is down here, Speak and Spell. Classic 80s design. Now, I never owned one of these as a kid, but I remember them as a kid in the 80s. Um, another cool thing is the Pound Puppies. And I do remember my mom actually had one of these because she loved them. But here we have the classic 80s collection of the Pound Puppies. So let's check out this 80s speak and spell. It's kind of weird because like it won't turn on like right away. Takes a second to turn on? I don't know. Hold it for a second. Hold it. Hold on for a second. Nothing. Oh, there we go. There you have it. Spell five. F. Is it doing it? Spell learn. L E A R N. Pretty cool. Learn. Look back here. Light bright. Oh, nice. Oval HD. I had a light bright too. It wasn't oval HD. It was kind of a big thing. So checking out the Hot Wheels here. Look at this. The Falcon. Batman, like the 30s edition. Masters of the Universe. I got this Batman car. What Batman car is that one? It's a new Batman. My uh, brother had it, one. I think. Okay, don't quite as much like that as the old one, but it's still neat. But what I want to point out is, ooh, Donkey Kong, right here. And this is like an RC Hot Wheels car. So this is kind of cool. It looks like it can go on the Hot Wheels track, and it's radio controlled. Wouldn't mind trying that out. So looking down the action figure aisle, a pretty cool thing that Kenner has done is they've come back with kind of a retro version of some of the superheroes and other action figures. And right here we have the Silver Surfer by Kenner. Another one that I saw down here was what looked like somewhat of a retro Transformer. There we go. More than meets the eye. And just kind of looking at the back, it does have kind of a retro packaging here. And there's all the Transformers action figures they have, Wave 1 and Wave 2. And here we are, a few more action figures. Here is a retro WWE action figure. Back when it used to be the WWF, Colonel Mustafa. And I have an action figure of this guy when he used to be Iran Sheik. But a little further down, if you have not seen this series, I have to say it's slightly amazing. He-Man Revelation. And they have the action figures from that here. He-Man, Skeletor, Skelegod, Tila. Another, that's uh, the faker He-Man, right? And then look at Battle Cat. That is a pretty serious battle cat. And coming down a little further, some retro play they have on these He-Man vehicles. Look at this. Here's Keldor and Origins Cro Cronus, right? That's the guy that became Trapjaw. So that's pretty cool. Coming down a little further, we got Battle Armor He-Man and Battle Cat. 
Oh, and this is pretty cool. Hiding in the back here, here's Beast Man. I have the original. And Moss Man. I also have the original of him. And then they have some smaller He-Man Revelation figures. Fisto. Whiplash. Let's see if we can take a look at the back of one of these and see what's all available. And my favorite. One of my favorites. The Retro Play Skeletor. So I have to say, this is a pretty huge target. It's one of the bigger ones that I've been in, I think. Or maybe it just seems that way because it's so open. I don't know. All right, so coming out in the prices corner here. You can look, it's quite a, quite a area around here. Right there where the chase is. That's where the chase is. There used to be a Sears Auto. Right. So coming down here, there used to be another entrance to the Sears on the corner here. And if I remember right around this time of year, you would always hear the bell of the Salvation Army guy. He'd be standing there dressed as Santa Claus, ringing the bell, um, taking collections. And if he's there now, did that, was that an escalator? Uh-huh. Why is there an escalator in there? It's turned off. I wonder if that's part of the old Sears. I don't know. Maybe they're making it a two-story Target. That would be pretty cool. Is that even part of the Target? But I think, listen, I think I hear that bell ringing. I think I do. Is it still down here around the corner? See, right here, there used to be an entrance to the Sears. Right here, we're just going to look back here. This used to be one of the entrances to Price's Corner because there was a parking lot out back. And there still is. I just didn't realize the access was still here. But you could park out back here and come up the stairs. And we got quite a sunset back here, I got to say. It is. And then right down there below the sunset, right about here, you see that thing with the red roof on it? That's like a food truck now that parks behind that place and, and serves food uh it used to be a bank it used to be a bank and there's a pretty good pizza place across the street there too but let's go back in to price's corner so you would come up these stairs these stairs have been here forever and you would come in this way if you were coming from the back which is sometimes a good way to come because it's a lot less traffic than you get in the front parking lot here now some of these stores have changed some are still the same. This is a tight, tight dress. So Gabe's is kind of like a clothing store. I guess it's kind of like uh, TJ Maxx. Would you say it's kind of equivalent of TJ Maxx or Ross maybe? Yeah. We got some home decor. I love Some home seasonal decor. housewares. A lot of clothes. For happy campers. Look at this. Scooby Doo hoodie. This might have to come home with me today. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the back of this thing here. Oh, yeah, that's coming with me. It's a Hallmark. I think that's been here for quite some time. Do you want to look in the Hallmark at the ornaments? Sure. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, this is pretty cool right here. Look at this. Super soaker. I remember having one of those when I was a kid. Got the Hot Wheels, Bone Shaker, and Shockwave. So here we go in the sci-fi section. Looks like Chekhov, Spock, Sulu, and Kirk, and Uhura from the alternate universe. Pretty cool. Does this thing do anything? Maybe this does. Oh, that makes that makes that do something. That's what I can find. That is pretty cool. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five year mission to explore that's strange new worlds. Yeah, that's to seek out new life and new civilization. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Okay. 
So what's cool is that Enterprise is a tree topper. It goes on top of the tree. Let's take a look at some holiday poppets. We got the gingerbread man poppet, right? We got the Christmas stocking poppet. We've got the Rudolph poppet. There's his face down there. He's got like a big poppet head. We've got the hot chocolate poppet. A single snowman poppet. And a polar bear poppet. Holiday edition. So coming up, we got five guys, which has been here a couple years, but I don't remember what was here before that. Famous footwear. I think they've been here for quite some time. So one original store that's been here forever is JC Penney's. They've been here since like Price's Corner started. And I remember coming in here and you used to go down the escalator over here. And when you go down the escalator, there was the extent of the toy department. Okay, now there's stairs between the escalator so you can take the stairs or you can just get on the escalator and ride down. So we got a classic two-story department store here, which I love. It's kind of like how Sears was. So one thing I remember as a kid was coming around here and there used to be like a counter in the back here. And that's where you would order stuff from the JCPenney catalog. And when Batman the movie came out in 1989, the first Batman one with Michael Keaton, the action figures, it was impossible to find the actual Batman action figure on the shelves. So we came here and ordered from the JCPenney catalog, had to wait a couple weeks, and it came in, it was Batman from the movie. For some reason, Robin came with him. And it was like Karate Chop Action Robin, even though Robin wasn't in the movie. And the Joker and his henchman, Bob. And Bob, he would push the button on his back and he would kick. The Joker, he had this thing that hooked up to, to his flower, a tube with a little ball that he would squeeze and water would squirt out of his flower. But waited for those to came in, come in and ordered them from here. And I think I got the Batmobile from here too. Not 100% sure on that. The original Batmobile from the original Batman movie. Now, not toy related, but I do love camping. And these are some Coleman blankets. Look at these. Awesome. Coleman quilts. Love it. So checking out the, cho the toy section at JCPenney's. One thing that they have that's cool is the Playmobil. I used to have these when I was a kid too. Not this exact set. This is awesome. It's like the camp set. And look what all is entailed in here. You have the raccoons, the backpack with the compass, this guy roasting the, the wieners and this lady for some reason roasting her camera over the fire. Um, you got a flashlight, tree stump. In the back, look at that little boom box and a tent. Pretty cool. Classic games, Hungry Hungry Hippos. Never goes out of style. And you don't need a Wi-Fi for this. That's an Etch-A-Sketch. But, oh, one more thing, look at this. Ghostbusters Monopoly. I see the back here. Can I get a look at the front? Yes, we can. Right there. That is pretty cool. But over here, we got the Care Bears. Okay. Classic 80s toys right there. So, they're like, what I wanted to do also that would be really cool is to get all the Care Bears and put them in rainbow order and set them on my bed. Because that's also a type of aesthetic which is called like, um, I forget. Yeah, color aesthetic. No. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> And here's another 80s classic, perhaps making a comeback. Strawberry Shortcake. The original 1980 design. See, what's cool is if it's still here, here's the back way. If you didn't want to do the escalator, take the stairs, you could take this elevator. But also, those stairs, oh, they're closed up now, but those stairs go up the second floor and there also used to be an entrance there so if you parked in the back parking lot you could come in this way it's been here forever yep i could like buy this all day yeah the escalator's fun all right so coming out of jc Penney's. Another entrance that used to be to Price's Corner here, if you parked around back, you used to be able to come in through here. 
And there used to be some benches and stuff back there, I remember. Is this kind of like an alleyway? Let's just check it out though, just for old time's sake. And I remember like in there, there'd always be like a little whirlwind in there. Like the leaves would always be kicking up in the corner and stuff. When you come in through there, it'll be another way to come into Price's Corner here. So somewhere along this strip, right around here, there used to be a place called The Wall, and they would sell CDs, records. It was a record store, which you don't see a lot of anymore with digital music. It's kind of a thing of the past, music stores. That's one of the fun there's Bath and Body Works with a selection of lotions and Christmas scented stuff. No toys though. But their stuff is so smelly. I just love the way it smells. So I found like a candle and it's spiced gingerbread. And these smell all like really good because I always like the cookie smelling and the cake smelling candles. Now I have to highlight Chow Pizza right here. We already ate. Well, we didn't eat dinner yet. We did eat a late lunch. But this is like one of the best pizza places ever. And it looks like they've, well, maybe they haven't upgraded too much, but they have some very good pizza in there. And that's the name of it. Another entrance to Price's Corner there. Tropical, Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Auntie Anne's Pretzels. They've been here forever. So we're all the way on the other side from Target. You break, fix. I think they fix stuff, all right? Good fellas, steaks and subs. That sounds pretty good. I could go for a cheesesteak right now. It looks like one of those places where you could get some pretty good food at, let's say. And GameStop. Some Super Mario World action figures. That's pretty cool. To say this is pretty cool an ea sports football this is a gamestop exclusive right here and captain kirk got quite a poppet selection over here glow in the dark poppets regular yellow poppet this bluish greenish poppet tie-dye poppet rainbow poppet purple poppet you name it I love poppets. I'm so obsessed. That's a lot of poppets. Ooh, look at the classic Nintendo control mug. Mm. That's pretty neat. And we have some like giant retro toys. He-Man and Skeletor. Hey. Got quite a glare on the package there, but kind of see through it. I have Animal Crossing on my Nintendo. That's pretty cool. And look at this. It's Classic Mario stocking. Ooh, is it time to replace the Elvis stocking? Is I don't know. Time to replace. They also have a Legend of Zelda stocking right here. Look at this. I also want to replace my um, Rudolph stocking with an Animal Crossing. You think so? Mm -hmm. We've got a pretty cool Star Wars Christmas sweater here, I think. Now, coming up around the corner here. The WSFS is closed. But one of the main attractions, other than JC Penney's and, and Sears, as you can see how Target stands out, that's just how Sears stood out with the Sears Auto up here where the Chase Bank is, right? One of the main attractions, at least for me, was a place that stood on the end here called Kitty World. Right? And Kitty World was an awesome toy store. Do they still have it? They don't have it anymore. I, I have a vague recollection of after Kitty World closed, there was a pool place that opened up in here. And I can't think of the name of the pool place, but I do remember Kitty World being here where it looks like it's now Staples. And this was a place where I came and I remember getting Star Wars action figures here. I probably got a few He-Man figures here. I don't know if there's any real reason to go in as it's just like a Staples now, but yeah, this was Kitty World and it was an awesome place. It was toys. 
toys and just like it was like a Toys R Us. So pretty cool place. You can see that old Price's Corner sign up there. Staples. So Staples has been here for quite some time. So it's been a long time since Kitty World was here. But I remember coming up here and getting a video game. Um, I can't think of what game it was. It was a regular Nintendo game, I believe, that I got here. And I'm not sure if that was that Kitty World or something else that was around here. Oh, there's an AutoZone. Look at that. Across the street, Pet Boys had been there forever. Where the Rite Aid is, it was an Eckerd's. And if you come over here, this chicken place over here, Boston Market. If memory serves me right, it used to be a Roy Rogers chicken, but I could be wrong on that. I think it was Roy Rogers though. Oh well, yeah, Price's Corner is quite a cool place. Like it's literally a place you could come and probably spend the better half of an afternoon or a day shopping, eating. It's like a mall only outside. And if I remember right, this shopping center was actually built by Sears. It was? Um, I believe so, yes. That's why Sears was like the, what do they call it? It was like the trophy store, the shopping center, so to speak, as it stood there on the corner with Sears Auto. And you know, it was right out in the front, Sears, Price's Corner. 